Ciao friends, Beth with Thimblehooks. Thanks for stopping by today for today's cute little project. This was a suggestion from Hooked by Suze when I made my 3D Rose Granny Square. She said, oh, that would be so, so cute as a gift bag. I like, well, yes, it would be cute as a gift bag. So I'm going to show you how to do, take this and this and turn it into this. And I love this one, but I knew that the black wish wouldn't show up on screen while I was working it, but I think this one is just gorgeous. I love this yarn, and the black looks so pretty with it that I just had to make it anyway. So it's another example. You can change this up so many ways, but first you need to have one of my 3D rows, 3D flower granny squares. So I imagine that we can get that on the screen right about in here for a link. I'm going to assume you already have that one ready to go and now I'm going to show you how to make the back that I used it is a it's more flat it's not poofy and it is a solid granny square with no gaps just like I've showed you before many times with different projects but we're gonna do this one and then we're just gonna add one more border so again I can probably get that on the screen here too for my granny square with no gaps so then you can't see into the gift bag and you can't see what it is. See, that makes so much sense. So all I have to do is take this and we get through round one, two, and three. One, two, and three. We are going to add a granny cluster row. I hope you're enjoying my video and my channel. If so, please click that button to subscribe. Thanks. So in these corners, you have two double crochets and a triple crochet and then two double crochets. So there's five stitches in each corner. You want to find the one that's the triple crochet. Get your yarn attached on the trip, pop the triple crochet and chain six. Three, four, five, six. That is a double crochet and a chain three. Also in that same stitch we are going to put three more doubles. One, two, and three. So there's partial corner. That one is not complete. We'll finish it when we get all the way around. But we are going to continue and make our little granny clusters. So after this cluster, we want to do a chain two, skip three, one two, three, and in that fourth one, that fourth stitch, we're going to put a granny cluster, which is three double crochets. Chain two, skip three, one, two, three, there's the fourth one right there, another granny cluster. Two, and three, and chain two. When you skip three, one, two, three, you'll see that you are at another triple crochet. So that's exactly where you want to be. So we're going to add another corner. So this is our first complete corner. This would be double crochet times three. Chain three and double crochet times three. All in that corner. Hi! Wanted to pop in really quick and tell you some very exciting news. We've launched another channel. Um, it's Derek's Baby. I guess since I get to have a channel about crochet, he wanted to have a channel about his fun, which is trivia and word association and all kinds of fun stuff. We have quite a few things out there, we just haven't told very many people about it yet, but one of them he did was about crochet and fiber arts. So, so excited if you would click on this link and go and give it a watch and check out the rest of that channel and do favorites and subscribe to that channel. We would love it. Down below we'll have the link to our channel. The channel is called Most Smartest Trivia and Such. Please subscribe and share it with all your friends because it really is fun and I bet you learned something new. And now back to crochet. And there's our corner. Chain two. We always chain two in between on this round all the way around. Skip three. One, two, three. 
in that fourth stitch. One, two, three. Another granny cluster. That's the same all the way around. So I will meet you at the other side and show you how to close up this round. How to finish that last corner because it's a partial corner and we need to finish it. Chain two. All right, there was my last little cluster and now back into this first space where we made our chain six and our three double crochets. Go back in there and do two more double crochets to finish that corner. And then slip stitch into the third chain, leaving a chain three in between. One, two, three, so that would be this guy right here. And there is your back. I'm using a five millimeter hook, by the way, because that's what I used when I made these in the first place. So I want them to match up. This one I already have ready. This is the one that I wanted to use with my bag, but I just wanted to show you how you adjust my solid granny square with no gaps to accommodate this pattern. So there we go. This actually matches. I think that's funny, but I'm still going to use this one. Please remember that it really helps my channel when you watch the video all the way to the end. All right, so now what we have, we're going to make this bag. Take these two things and turn it into a cute little bag. So what we want to start with, we have our two pieces. Here's my flower and here's my flat. We want to put the wrong sides together. So turn them over, put those together. We're going to work on the outside where it shows. I'm going to start right here and going through both sides. We're going to link these together. So fasten on your yarn and then three single crochets in that chain space of the corner. Just three single crochets. Easy peasy. We are just joining these on three sides. So there's one, two, three. There's our three singles. We're going to chain one and jump over to the next space. Make sure you get both. And one, two, and three single crochets. Chain one. Do that all the way around three sides. Chain one, and I'll show you how to do the corner here in just a moment. It's not terribly different, but it's a little different. my chain one and now in the corner again linking those together three single crochets one two and three oopsie there we go three chain three and three more singles And that is a corner. And of course, chain one, because we're doing that between all. And we'll jump over to the next chain space. And that is our sequence for all three sides. All right, chain one, and here is my last piece of my three edges. So we're going back into this corner. We'll do the same thing we did in this corner, which was just three single crochets. And now you can fasten that one off. Pull out our corner there. Now it looks like a nice little bag. It's got a nice little, nice little corner right down in here. It looks super cute. Okay, so now we have a pouch. Which is cute, but I'm gonna put a little bit of a topper on it to make it a little taller. You could use it as is if you wanted to. A little drawstring right through here. But if you want to add on more, that's what I'm gonna do next. This time we're working in each one separately. We're not binding them together, otherwise we don't have a bag. So we'll start in the corner. And we're going to fasten on our yarn. Do three double crochet in this space. Right like this. One, two, 
and three. Making sure that you're not going through both sides because we're going to work that one later. So we just wanted to go through this side. Now we'll chain two, jump over to this chain space, and I work another granny cluster, which is three double crochets. Chain two. The next chain space gets another granite cluster. Chain two. And then we're over to the next corner, but it really doesn't matter. We're ignoring it as a corner. We're using it as two pieces right here and on this side. So just like the others, three double crochet. Chain two. And then you go to the next one. chain two. That was my last cluster here. Chain two just like we did before in between everything and then just slip stitch into our first stitch. Oh I lost my chain. Chain two and then slip stitch into our first stitch which is right here. So again you can stop here if you want. I'm gonna do one more round you can just stop right here if you think that your bag is big enough for whatever you're doing. Or you can keep going if you want it to be taller. Alright, now that we did our little slip stitch and we are correct connected, if you wish to do another round, you chain two and do granny clusters again. You really can make this any height you want. You could have stopped already or you can make it even taller and chain two in between each granny cluster. And now we're in my very last cluster. Go to our last chain two space, same as we did before. Make a granny cluster. And now our chain two already exists because we started with our chain two on this round. So just slip stitch for your first chain. And you're all done. All you have to do is fasten off any way you like. And you have to weave in ends. That's always that's always going to be a thing. Can't get away with that. Can't get away without having to weave in ends. You can put a little drawstring on it that you just weave in and out of here. Weave in and out, just like I did right here. I just did a chain of 75 and drawstring him closed. Isn't that just? So here you go. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back soon. Thanks. Bye.